Welcome to the healthiest family on earth and know that you are in the right place. You are in the right company to grow your business and to really expand your horizon no, as an entrepreneur. All right? So let's talk about this Iosana difference. Mabilis lang to, no para malaman natin kung ano yung effort, kung ano yung work na nilalagay natin no when it comes to producing our products. All right? So i-run through ko lang, no? Kasi dadalhin ko po kayo sa Salt Lake City, Utah. And ipapakilala ko po kayo sa ating founder and to those people who are behind the formulation ng ating mga products. Ayan, ay, tapos na. <laughs> Ayan, so, hindi pa ako nag-umpis sa ano, no? first slide. Ayan, so balik ko muna sa pinakauna. At nang maumpisahan na natin yung ating balitaktakan. Ayan, so, no? <laughs> And pala, ayan. So, the USANA difference. So, ano ba yung USANA difference? No? So, it, when, we, when we say USANA, the very first word that you should really think and should um, people know is quality. No, what is this quality? It's the quality of, of the best materials. It's the quality formulas of the products, the unsurpassed manufacturing, the continuous improvement, and under our control. So ito yun, no? pag sinabing yun sana, say quality. Alright? So yan yung trademark, yan yung brand natin. And we thank this person. No? We, re we really appreciate him for putting up this business. No, He is our founder. He is Dr. Myron Wentz. And um, he founded USANA in 1992. So this is his um, uh, advocate, advocacy no? to really uh, have a dream of, of a world free from disease and degenerative uh, sufferings ng mga tao. And that's why we are centered to that dream. So gusto niya talaga na magkaroon tayo ng mga uh, creation and manufacturing of pharmaceutical grade products. Okay, bakit gusto niya yung mangyari? It's because he is a scientist, no? A microbiologist who has a major in immunology and he is focused on those health products with required nutrients. No, na discover kasi ni Dr. Myron Wentz before he saw na Now, while he's taking those supplements, para hindi enough no, to sustain or to provide optimal health and support sa, sa, uh, sa katawan ng tao. And that's why he focused on the cellular nutrition no, to keep the body's cells healthy. So thanks to this person, no, na we are here in this company today. And you know, Yusana is backed with science. No, it is we want to develop and provide the highest quality science-based health products. And to tell us more, no, I have uh, included here a very short video on how they produce these products that we are enjoying today. Ayan. So, tignan natin tong video na to. The laboratory is a critical component of Yusana's quality program, which is modeled after good manufacturing practices (GMPs) required in the pharmaceutical industry. If something doesn't conform to our strict specifications for purity, identity, composition, quality, and strength, it doesn't go into the products. Expert technicians and scientists use state-of-the-art techniques such as inductively coupled plasma mass spectrometry, high-performance thin layer chromatography, infrared and ultraviolet spectroscopy, gas chromatography, and many more to analyze each ingredient for USANA guaranteed quality. Our manufacturing technicians take care to prevent contamination of the products by dressing to strict good manufacturing standards. Product purity is further guaranteed through an air pressure and air lock system that keeps dust and other contaminants out of the air. When the laboratory clears the ingredients for use, production is ready to begin. USANA's rotating blenders mix ingredient powders into a uniform blend. Our presses rotate fast enough to produce up to half a million tablets per hour. Next, it's on to the coders, which apply a thin layer of all-natural vegetable protein to the surface of the tablets. This protects the active ingredients and makes the tablets easier to swallow. Once the tablets have been coated and tested, it's time for packaging. Sensors check the tamper evident seal to be sure the bottle is completely closed for freshness and safety. After each bottle is sealed inside and out, they're bundled and prepped to be shipped. Each week, USANA fills about 275,000 bottles. More than 20,000 packages are shipped each week in the U.S. Orders are filled by a pick light system identifying which products go in which boxes. Orders are carefully tracked 
through an intelligent system of scanners and scales which verify the contents of each box. This helps USANA ensure its amazingly high order accuracy rate of 99.99%. From product development to delivery at the customer's doorstep, every individual at USANA, from the line worker to the chief executive, is committed to providing the very best nutritional products on the market. All right, so you just um, uh, watch no, yung paani yung production ng products natin. No? You, it's because we follow this um, good manufacturing practice. No? So this has been provided by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration in which all of those manufacturing plants na nagproduce ng mga pharmaceutical products, no, sabihin natin na hindi lang mga drugs, but all of those supplements, medical devices, mga vaccines, no, na kailangan mag-follow sa standard na yun. At para masabi natin that they're really high quality. Alright? So, when it comes to this uh, research and development, no, we have this almost 60 scientists. Actually, hindi lang yan 60 ngayon. No? They are um, um, added up with uh, more scientists and experts. And they are these people who are responsible for the formulation ng product no, the innovation, all of those technology that we have in our products, so sila po yung responsible doon. And that's why we can say that our products are continuously uh, inno innovated by these people. And science-based, of course, so it's just more, more than a talk. No, saan po ba natin binasa yung mga products natin? Our uh, formulas based on the published clinical and epidemiological studies mga in-house research kasi we have our own research and development team no so nagkakandak din sila ng in-house research and we also have ingredient comparisons bioavailability studies mga clinical evaluations and published clinical research collaboration so may mga third party po tayo ng mga um, partners no sa mga different institutions mga universities na, na, na partner natin when it comes to conducting all of these things and that's why we can really say no and confidently say na talagang science based yung mga products natin ayan so dedicated to quality and self improvement kasi we operate 100% of all of these things most of the uh, supplement companies kasi meron talaga silang tagagawa no uh, it's kumbaga it's it's not them it's not their own company providing those products but here in Yasana we are uh, producing it on our own kasi we have our state of the art facilities no and laboratories to manufacture our products and that's why Yasana is 100% no bakit why why Yasana is 100% majority of products manufactured in house so yung operations natin, 75% nangyayari siya sa Salt Lake City, Utah. And we also have this manufacturing facility no, in Beijing, China. Okay, so dalawa pong locations yan. And so operations din natin, no, we focus on scrap reduction, kaya may mga sustainability projects tayo para less din yung mga waste na naproproduce ng ating company and also mga air shipments and logistics. Kaya po mabilis yung delivery ng mga products natin. And the raw material cost savings no with um, no quality impact. So also the manufacturing productivity. So pag sinabi po natin mga um, manufacturing plant, ito po yung itsura niya. So actually hindi po ito lahat, no? just a glimpse of what we are doing in our manufacturing plant in Salt Lake City, Utah. Second is why USANA is 100% is because all the products and materials are validated and tested at multiple stages to meet the highest standards in quality. So pag sinabi po natin uh, standards and specifications, uh, like I mentioned kanina, good manufacturing practice. So, ano po itong GMP? So, it's, it's like a system that ensuring the products are consistently produced and controlled para ma-meet yung quality standards. So, it is designed no, para ma-minimize ma yung mga risks na pwedeng ma-involve when it comes to production na hindi natin ma-eliminate through the testing no, ng final product. So, maraming coverage po. No, very wide yung coverage ng GMP. And it uh, kung baga lahat po ng aspect ng production, ibig sabihin, starting uh, from the raw materials, dun sa mga premises, ba dun sa mga facilities natin, yung mga equipment, no? to the training and personal hygiene ng mga staff, kasama po sa GMP. And even yung mga detailed na mga procedures, 
no kasama din po siya dito para ma-assure tayo na hindi po low quality yung na-produce no at yung mga finished products na yun ay talagang premium no and in good condition na makarating sa atin all right so that's GMP and we are following that and when it comes to our products no uh especially when it comes to our health no that would really greatly affect our human body ito yung dapat nating tingnan no so it has to be complete potent bioavailable balanced and safe no so kasi pag wala diyan yung isa eh talaga hindi mo masasabi na guaranteed na effective ba yan na high quality or premium ba yan so dapat nandiyan yung lima okay another is financially strong company that's set for the future and we know no kaya nga um we are proud to say that we are already 30 years No, here in Yosana in 13 years na dito sa Philippines because we we have this consecutive growth no unlike any other companies na parang during the pandemic na close diba na kumbaga nagkaroon ng difficulties to maintain their uh their employees no but unlike here mas lumago pa no mas nagkaroon pa ng growth ayan and kasama din dito no we are partnering with our Yusana elite athletes and thousands of them no all over the world kung merong Yusana market sa isang nation or sa isang country eh meron din talagang Yusana athlete all right and of course no so here in the Philippine market uh Yusana is the official nutritional supplements of the PBA and what's more no Yusana is awarded top rated direct selling brand no so kumbaga six time winner na po tayo so hindi lang na-update yung ating logo diyan and of course all of these 700 plus awards won since 1992 so saan diba saan ka makakahanap ng company garnering all of these awards and recognitions proving that we are really the best <laughs> simply the best here in Yusana ayan and lastly products feature cutting edge in innovative technology so you know it's something that you can really proud of because of the personalized nutrition no kaya masasabi mo na you have these products for the kids for the adults and even for the teenagers for those who love skincare for those who want to have the support sa kanilang dental uh, or oral health diba so all of those things you can find in Yosana and that's the Yosana difference so mabilis lang no but of course our main topic for tonight is about the intelligence technology no we always hear this when we conduct our product trainings but hindi natin nabibigyan ng attention or talagang bigyan ng emphasis no kung ano ba talaga to siya no sabi nila maganda daw kasi may tatak intelligence but ano ba talaga yung intelligence technology ayan so um i hope no um makinig po tayo ng mabuti kasi you know some of the terms here are a bit technical Okay? So, yung iba dito, hindi natin parating naririnig. Hindi natin siya everyday na i-encounter. So, I want your full attention to be with me, all ears, all eyes, para ma-absorb natin ano ba yung essence, okay, ng intelligence technology. And, para naman, tama yung ma-share natin sa ating mga clients, sa ating mga downlines, especially the new ones. No, of course, it's part of their... Uh, learning talaga no what's really on this technology kasi ito yung hina-highlight natin in some of our products here in Yasana all right okay so this is our intelligence technology the next evolution in cellular nutrition no you know what dr myron wens we know that he is a scientist tama ba he is a microbiologist and if kung meron mang isang tao na talagang expert when it comes to cell biology and function siya na yun All right, and because of his experience using proper nutrition to optimize cellular health, no, has influenced Isana. Kaya ngati nawag natin siyang the cellular nutrition company, and he founded that in 1992. So for more than two decades already, right? So um, his pioneering approach to antioxidants, no, yung mga cellular nutrition, yun po yung naging catalyst. No, kaya nagkaroon tayo ng napakadaming innovations in nutritional supplements and personal care products. So yung foundational understanding natin ng nutrition, kung ano yung role niya sa cells natin, kumbaga yun na yung pinaka-basic dito. 
Diba? Kasi nga, cellular nutrition company, kung meron man tayong dapat alagaan, in-nourish, at talagang supportan, that would be the cells. But syempre, since we are a science-based company, we are constantly innovating. Kung baga may mga evolution din po na nangyayari for this um, type of uh, aspect, no? At nangyari yan sa Yusana. Okay? Sabi natin, we don't stay where we are. We constantly pursue innovation kasi nga science, alright? And we want to improve the products that we produce para masuportahan lalo yung health natin. And under the guidance of Dr. Wenz, yung mga scientists and uh, mga researchers natin, they continue to study no, ano ba talaga itong mga cellular processes na to, And ano yung mga role ng nutrients, ng bioflavonoids and phytochemicals no, in supporting good cellular health. Specifically, dito sa tinatawag natin na cell-to-cell -cell communication. Yes, no, you've heard it right na yung mga cells natin sa katawan para magkaroon ng normal functioning at talagang ma-maintain yung good health natin no at talagang you know you can still continue to to thrive and flourish kailangan merong communication gaya ng mga tao di ba if you really want to live harmoniously at okay may peace and order uh, around us kailangan may communication even i mean communication is very basic when you are in a relationship tama ba same with ourselves. So this work has led to the breakthroughs no, in, in Yosana. No? Kasi doon nila na-find out itong ating cell signaling. Alright? And this cell signaling, meron tayong mga targeted nutrients na ginagamit, na nilalagay sa mga produkto natin para ma-activate yung positive cellular responses. Thereby, nagkakaroon ng renewal, ng adaptation, even ng nourishment dun sa cells. Alright? And the company's cell signaling knowledge, no, nagbunga ito ng isang, flat, um, ng isang formulation platform na tinatawag nating Innate Cellular Intelligence or the USANA Intelligence Technology. Okay? So pag tinatanong kayo, ano bang mini ng intelligence? It's innate cellular intelligence all right so tandaan po natin yan ha ayan so yes po nasa first slide pa lang po tayo <laughs> ayan nagwi talaga si ano ayan cell to cell communication yes definitely no meron po talagang communication diyan nangyayari so introduction pa lang po yun <laughs> ayan so let's talk about intelligence technology Ayan. So, intelligence technology, this is an intelligent supplement design. No? It's a nutritional technology. Hindi siya isang produkto or product line. Na eto, intelligence, inumin mo. <laughs> Hindi po. Platform siya para mag-create ng products that support optimal cellular health through a natural process called cell signaling. Dito po nakafocus ang intelligence sa tinatawag nating prosesong cell signaling. And this technology, it utilizes molecular targeting of nutrients para ma-optimize yung function ng mga cells natin. No, meron tayong mga ingredients dyan at malalaman nyo mamaya, ano ba yung mga ingredients na involved dito sa cell signaling na to? And these key nutrients, they are scientifically proven to be effective cell signaling molecules. Ibig sabihin, they speak your cell's language. Siyempre, how can you say na magkakaroon ng communication kung wala namang language? ba? So, kailangan natin ng language. And ito yung mga nutrients na to. Itong mga molecules na kailangan natin. Alright? Ayan. So, yan yung ating intelligence technology. It's a platform. Nutritional uh, platform. No, It's a design para mag-create ng mga products that can target the cell signaling pathways so that it can speak to your cell's language. At malalaman din po natin, ano ba yung significance pag able na makipag-usap, na mag-speak itong mga nutrients na to sa mga cells? Meron ba siyang effect? Yes, meron po. But let's understand first the cell signaling basics. So may mga basic tayo and ito may pagka-technical na. Alright? So when it comes to cell signaling basics, no, involved talaga dito ang cells kasi nga cell signaling basics. So, isipin natin, imagine natin yung mga cells, di ba? Most of us ang alam sa cells bilog, no? But actually, 
in a, in our human uh, in the human body may mga different types of cells tayo at hindi lang po bilog okay yung iba pahaba yung iba flat rectangle square depende po meron pang parang para siyang uh, anong tawag diyan yung sa neurons di ba may mga uh, tangles tangles pa siya so somehow we have different types of cells in the body and di ba yan may cro- croissant shape ha? nako challenging yung shape na yan so you know what your cells are intelligent kasi intelligent nyo po, alright? So, they can sense and respond to their internal and external environment through cell signaling. Isipin nyo po yung cells natin, kung sabihin natin bilog yung cell. So, internal, yan yung environment niya. External, syempre, yung nakapalibot sa cell. And, kaya niya mag-sense yun at mag-respond to it through cell signaling. Paano nangyayari yun? It's through this receptor molecules no kasi may mga nakadikit po diyan sa cells na nagiging receptor at because of these receptor molecules they can sense no malalaman nila ano bang nangyayari inside of me ano bang nangyayari outside sa external and these interactions no between the internal and external environment nagkakaroon ng interaction, nagkakaroon ng triggering and thereby producing a chain reaction. Okay? So may chain reaction, isipin niyo po yung line ng mga dominoes. 'Di ba? Pag tinumba natin yung isang domino sa pinakauna ng linya nila, sunod-sunod na po 'yan. Okay? So 'yan po yung nangyayari. And because of that chain reaction, that can turn on genes and activate a variety of cellular responses. No, may mga na to turn on, mayroong na to turn off, depende po 'yan, no, kung anong klasing reaction ang nangyayari sa mga cells natin. So, there can also be signal amplification. Ano po yung signal amplification? Na kahit very small amounts of nutrients na ititake ng isang tao, magkakaroon siya agad ng big impact. All right? na kahit, sabi ko nga, di ba, very small amount lang yan. Sabihin natin, phytonutrients, nag-take ka niyan, tapos napunta doon sa targeted uh, cells or landing spots no, na kailangan niyang mapuntahan. And you know what? That can really produce a very huge impact doon sa cells. Hindi lang sa cells, but also sa tissues, also sa organs ng katawan natin. Kaya masasabi mo, uy, Nag-take lang ako ng product na to parang may nakita na akong kakaiba. Di ba? So, konting amount lang yon Hindi necessary na sobrang dami. It's because of that uh, cell signaling. Alright? So, yun yun. Yun yung basic na kailangan natin malaman when it comes to cellular responses. Alright? The sense and... Ito, no? Nakalagay dyan, nakabulit. Sense and respond to internal and external environment. And then, paano nangyayari yun? Because of the receptor molecules. Kung baga, nasa-sense nila. Okay, nakikita nila ano na ba nangyayari dito. And thereby, kung ano yung nakapalibot sa kanila, magkakaroon na ng response. Siyempre, magre-react ang cells. Oh, ano na to? Bakit ako nakaka-experience or meron ako natatanggap na nutrients sa ganito? And thereby, it could create this signal amplification. Na ayan, biglang naging, uh, na- nagkaroon ng... Um, nagkaroon ng uh, good response yung tulog mo, yung metabolism, even yung um, at the same time yung skin, di ba? Nakikita mo talaga yung effect because of the reactions ng cells and yes, sobrang talino ng ating mga cells sa katawan. Ayan. So, very wonderful, no? But, let's go deeper. Ano ba yung molecular or cell signaling? Kasi, di ba, sabi natin, for our cells to communicate, kailangan may cell signaling. And ito yung tinatawag natin molecular or cell signaling, all right? So yung katawan natin, 'di ba? It contains an incredibly elaborate and complex communication network. Gaya natin dito, no, mga tao, 'di ba? Meron tayong ways to communicate. May mga network, ayan. So, sabihin natin, meron tayong TV station, network, meron tayong radio station, meron pa tayong mga cellphone, may mga social media, ang daming ways to communicate. Alright? Same with our cells. And it is made possible because of this variety of molecules na nag-act as informational messenger. Aanhin mo naman po ang isang network or TV station kung walang reporter. 
Alright? So, kailangan merong messenger. And these are the proteins, the enzymes, hormones, cell receptors, mga genes, mga transcription factors, and all. And they are our key players for this system to happen, not to really function. Kasi complex yung communication eh. So, kailangan may mga, may mga key players tayo. And they are responsible for the transmission of information na na-initiate. Na okay? Kaya, meron tayo mga life essential functions no sa katawan. Kung hindi to sila uh, involved, hindi ko alam kung hanggang ngayon buhay pa tayo. No? Kaya may minsan, minsan, pag may mga problema sa health, it could be the merong problem damage ang protein or maybe itong hormone na to wala sa'yo or maybe sobra sa'yo. Di ba? Because whatever man ang nangyayari sa kanila, mga informational messengers natin, it would greatly affect our health. Kaya meron tayong mga diseases. Alright? Meron tayong mga disorders because of these informational messengers. And they are very complex po. Hindi po madaling intindihin niya. For example, ang proteins, sobrang dami ng types ng proteins. Okay? Kaya very important sila sa ating uh, cell communication. No? For example, ito. Bigyan ko kayo ng example. Uh, yung pag-activate ng immune system natin, yung ating body's uh, defense, di ba? Marami pong nangyayari dyan para lang maprotektahan tayo. No, kasama po dyan yung transfer of electrical impulses no, from this neuron to another neuron uh, para mapunta siya sa nervous system at para mapunta siya sa brain for interpretation. Another pa, no, kapag sa activation ng immune system, kailangan merong maintenance of growth, merong pang metabolism and repair. Even involve ang gene expression at na-accomplish po itong lahat because of these various chemicals, itong mga molecular messengers natin. No? So, we thank them also. No? Thank you. Thanks to our proteins or these enzymes and hormones kaya na-activate yung immune system natin. And guess what? Hindi lang immune system yung body system natin. Meron pa tayong cardiovascular system. May digestive. Di ba? Ano pa? Ano pa yung endocrine system? Sobrang daming system at involved itong lahat. Okay? So, ang tanong, bakit kaya sila hindi nagkakagulo dun sa loob ng katawan natin? Eh, ang dami pala ni Mo. Diba? So, kahit ako parang naisip ko, my gosh, siguro kung ako isa sa mga cell or proteins na dun, nalilito na din ako. But of course, sabi nga, yes, indeed, wonderfully created by an intelligent God. Yes, I, I, I totally uh, agree with that. Alright? So, these communications can occur within the cell itself. Pwede inside the cell, pwede din siya mangyari cell to cell, pwede din in connection with cell to a tissue or organ. Okay? Kaya merong conversational ch channels na nabibuild. May mga pathways. Di ba? Yun yung tanong. Paano sila nagkakaintindihan? Ay, ang dami pala. Kasi nga, merong pathway. Alright? For example, dito sa, um, for example, uh, bigyan ko kayo ng Um, scenario. Di ba kung pupunta ka ng, hindi ko kasi masyado familiar yung mga streets dyan sa Luzon, no? But, for example, kung pupunta ka ng Makati office, no? Yung sana Makati office, syempre, hindi ka dadaan sa, um, doon sa, or hindi ka dadaan sa, sa roadway na papuntang uh, Mandaluyong, di ba? Or papuntang, uh, sabihin natin, ano pa ba? Uh, ano pa ba yung mga lugar dyan? <laughs> di ba? So, dapat may pathway. Ayan, Pasay. <laughs> Hindi ka dadaan doon. Kasi nga, yung goal mo, papuntang Makati office. So, dadaan ka doon sa papuntang Makati. ba diba? Sa Ayala. ba diba? Doon ka dadaan. So, same with these proteins, these hormones, meron silang kanya-kanyang pathway. At kung aaralin natin yan, hindi po enough ang isang gabi para i-discuss natin yan dahil sobrang dami, sobrang complicated din. And that's why, hindi masasabi na, ah, lost itong, itong molecule na to because they, they are never lost. Alright? Because of these different pathways. And may mga channels yan. And to give you this example, ayan, nakita niyo po ba yan? That's biochemistry. <laughs> Na-appreciate niyo po. <laughs> Sino dito yung may mga nag-biochem nung college? Di ba madugo? <laughs> Daming pathways, tama ba? And you know what? Scientists and researchers now have discovered that yung food pala can act as informational messenger. 
Sabi natin kanina, the proteins, uh, the enzymes, the hormones, which are really found in the body, they act as informational messenger. But according to our scientists and experts, yung pagkain pala can act as informational messenger. No? And these messengers, they deliver vital and dynamic information. No? Depende po siyempre sa klase or type ng pagkain. Kung kakain ka ba naman ng, ng junk food, sa mga fast food, what would you expect? Positive or negative consequence? ba? Diba? Siyempre negative. But if you're gonna eat a balanced diet, no, with a food rich in protein, carbohydrates, fats, balance yung lahat. So what would you expect? Siyempre positive yung consequence. So that makes food as a very good informational messenger. And specifically, the plant-based phyto nutrients. Okay? Because they act as powerful signaling molecules. Kung meron po kayong pagkain or any form of uh, molecules na dapat tinitake is dapat plant-based. Kasi they are powerful signaling molecules and they can interact, they can talk with your cells and they can have this cell uh, they can have this interaction with cell signaling pathways kaya may mga initiation or activation na nangyayari sa katawan just because you have taken plant based phytonutrients kaya that explains bakit ang daming uh, phytonutrients sa mga products natin okay kasi may napakalaki pala ng impact niya no and that includes no the activation no and the initiation of your immune system of your healthy inflammatory responses and even mga antioxidant defenses yan po yung effect niya and also it can positively impact to on sa cellular performance ninyo na tinatawag na mitophagy okay mitophagy so malalaman natin mamaya no ano ba yung mitophagy na yan so yung mga genes natin for instance di ba alam natin na it's made up of dna your deoxy ribonucleic acid ito po yung nakalag dito po nakalagay yung instruction para makakreate tayo ng protein sa katawan okay kaya kailangan healthy yung genes healthy yung dna para healthy din yung or correct din yung protein sa na produce ng katawan natin okay so these proteins are responsible for the function, regulation, and maintenance ng sobrang daming function sa katawan. Okay? And, you know what? As mentioned above, our food can influence the expression of genes that are favorable to our health. Kaya, let's all be careful with what we eat. No? Hindi lang, ah, kakainin ko to kasi para magusog ako. But, eat uh, your food or choose the kind of food that can really um, influence, that can give a positive influence to your gene expression. Okay? Kasi yung gen genes nyo po, hindi nyo po ba alam, mapapasa nyo po yan sa mga anak ninyo. So if you have a healthy genes, what would your children get? Diba? Healthy genes din. Alright? So kailangan dun tayo sa healthy food. So for example, dito sa uh, illustration natin, Makikita natin diyan na yung ginamit natin is uh, extracts ng broccoli, specifically the broccoli derived phytonutrient, no? Yung tinatawag nating sulforaphane, sulforaphane, sulforaphane. <laughs> diba? Sulforaphane para sa child, no? And it has shown to increase gene expression for healthy cellular function. At ito pa yung broccoli no na ayo da kainin ng mga bata. Diba? So, if you can see there, no, hindi na natin aaralin bakit siya nagkakaroon ng increased gene expression kasi talagang sobrang hirap intindihin po niyan no, ng pathway na yan. Okay? So, one thing to uh, understand na bakit kaya ang daming phytonutrients ng Yosana, meron tayong uh, curcumin or turmeric extract, meron pa tayong olive oil. Diba? Sobrang dami. It's because our scientists have found out that it can really greatly affect our genes. Hindi lang cells, but genes mismo in which nakalagay ang DNA natin, the DNA expression natin. Alright? So, di ba? Talagang next level na yung mga pinag-uusapan natin. <laughs> okay pa ba tayo? May nakita ko kanina na sana daw nag-take siya ng, ng Copa Prime. <laughs> No, ito na talaga yung pinaka ano, pinaka basic na 
ma share ka sa inyo kasi talagang complicated siya if you really wanna go deeper talaga sa explanation ng intelligence. Ayan, next. So, ano ba yung nagagawa ng ating um, intelligence technology? Alright? Kasi nga, di ba, uh, it can talk to ourselves and it can really um, have this effect doon sa ating cell signaling pathway. Kumbaga, saan, yun, saan dumadaan yung mga molecules na yun. No? So, there, there are many health-optimizing pathways that the intelligence complex supports. Okay? So, ano ba to? Familiar ba tayo dito sa mga terms na to? Ayan. So, sino ba yung nakarelate dito ng mga NRF2, mTOR, PPAR, diba? sa mga nakatake ng biochem? Pero... I believe nakalimutan niyo na din po 'yon. But let me refresh you, no? Kung ano ba yung nagagawa ng ating intelligence complex at ano yung sinusuportahan niya ng mga different pathways sa katawan. Number one, eto, NRF2. Etong NRF2 is your nuclear factor erythroid 2 related factor 2. O di ba? Ang haba kaya nga NRF2 na lang. So, this is a type of um, transcription factor na nagre-regulate ng sobrang daming uh, expression of genes, like 1,000 genes, okay, yung hawak ng ating NRF2. And these transcripts no, can be categorized, depende po sa group ng functions, kasama dyan yung oxidative defense, detoxification ng katawan, inflammatory mga responses, no, and even metabolism. So, under yan siya sa ating NRF2. And that's why, isa sa mga nagagawa nito is ang mag-produce ng glutathione. Okay? Yun yung pinakasimple example na mabibigay ko. It can produce glutathione. And we know that glutathione is our one of our body's natural antioxidant. Naproproduce yan ng katawan, ang glutathione. But with the NRF2, no, that can really trigger more the production of this antioxidant. And don't you know that this NRF2 is um, considered as a, uh, kumbaga para siyang naging uh, focus no, when it comes to creating drugs right on these days no, because of its um, involvement sa heart diseases. No, isa din po yan, no? but of course hindi naman tayo nagpo-focus sa drugs no? because we are into nutritionals or mga vitamins and supplements so out na yan sa ating topic but it has to do with our uh, treatment ng human diseases no? like heart failure but most of its um, function goes to the production of glutathione okay? and our intelligence complex supports that one next is the mTOR Ano to mTOR, okay? Ito mahaba-haba din, mammalian target of rapamycin. So this is a type of protein that regulates the protein synthesis, no, and the cell growth, no? It involves the the nutrients, yung energy levels, yung stress, even yung uh, apoptosis, yung yung cell death, di ba? A, a lot of things ang involved sa mTOR. But the basic thing that we can remember about mTOR is it prevents premature cell death. Okay? Kaya yung iba, syempre, kung may premature cell death, meron talagang diseases right after niyan. Kasi syempre, di ba, mamamatay yung cells. And then, what would happen? It could also cause premature aging. Tama ba? No, pag meron ganito, pag ganito ang cycle ng cells mo. And that's why intelligence complex supports mTOR para malesin or masuportahan din ang mTOR na hindi agad-agad nagkakaroon ng cell death. All right? Ayan. So next is the PPAR. PPAR, ito naman yung peroxisome proliferate or activated receptors. So, PPAR yun. And this PPAR, pag na-activate ito, it can reduce the uh, triglyceride level, okay? the cholesterol level ng katawan. At involved din siya sa ating uh, energy production. So, example niyan, di ba, is yung sugar. No? Pag kumain tayo ng food rich in sugar, hindi po yan agad-agad na nagagamit ng katawan. So, kailangan ma magkaroon pa yan ng signal doon sa ating pancreas no para mag-produce ng insulin lalong-lalo na sa mga nagre-regulate ng blood sugar. Okay? So kailangan well regulated ang sugar and with this PPAR, kailangan masuportahan siya para hindi magkaroon ng increase in 
blood sugar levels. Alright? Kasi meron siyang impact doon sa ating insulin. And we know insulin, di ba, this is our hormone in the body na talagang may make sure na hindi tayo la, hindi tayong lahat magkaroon ng, alam mo na, ng diabetes or merong increase in blood sugar. Okay? Ayan. So, next is our NFKB. So, nuclear factor kappa B. Ito siya. This is also a type of protein. Okay? Na transcription factor. And, ito naman is considered regulator ng innate immunity. So, it's about our immune system. So, pag itong NFKB natin, um, uh, ma 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 ma-activate siya, it can have this cellular resistance to invading pathogens. Kaya, hindi tayo madaling ma-invade ng mga disease-causing microorganism because of this NFKB. Ayan. So, as you can see here, dami pa lang nagagawa ng intelligence technology, no? Hindi lang for antioxidant, but also for healthy cell development. Meron pang para sa metabolism, sa energy. Tapos, meron pa sa ano, no? Para sa uh, immune system. At meron pa, lastly, DOR, which is for the skin. At pag itong DOR ay ma-switch on, there is a production of collagen. Kaya masasabi mong, Uh, healthy, look, healthy, young-looking skin and at the same time, healthy ang ating uh, joints, ang ating blood vessels. Diba? Kasi it's made up of collagen. Ayan. So as you can see, ang dami palang nagagawa ng intelligence complex. Alright? And these are just the very basic. Ang dami pa po. Kung ito naman ay support, ano naman yung napopromote ng ating intelligence? So he, I have um, here two key processes that... Um, Our intelligence complex is designed to promote. So number one, define mo na natin yung promote. Okay? So pag sinabi natin promote, it encourages, it ignites or provoke, diba? Yan yung promote. So number one is it promotes endogenous antioxidant protection. Okay? Kasi yung, yung katawan natin, diba? It is equipped with a naturally powerful defense system para maprotektahan tayo sa mga oxidative stress. And because of that, our body is producing um, glutathione and superoxide dismutase. Alright? So, ito yung dalawang main antioxidant ng katawan. And the intelligence complex, it contains nutrients na nagbibigay ng support para makaproduce yung katawan natin ng madaming endogenous antioxidants. In addition doon sa napoprovide niya na. Okay. So, when combined also with mga additional antioxidants like the coenzyme Q10, ano pa ba, mga beta carotene, vitamin C and E, and even the other vita antioxidants, no, with the intelligence complex, it provides significantly higher levels of protection. Kung hindi ka pa umiinom ng ating, for example, cell essentials, meron na kasing protection yung katawan mo because of this glutathione and superoxide dismutase. But if you take more of these different nutrients in our intelligence complex, mas nadadagdagan siya. Mas mataas yung levels of protection na nakukuha ng katawan mo. Alright? Okay, so endogenous. Ano ba itong endogenous? Actually, itong endogenous, produced ito siya ng mga antioxidants ng katawan. Naturally synthesized ng ating human body. Kaya endogenous. Pero kung exogenous antioxidant, galing siya sa other sources. Sabi natin mga plant sources. But since endogenous yung target, parang it's like telling our body, uh, liver cells, magproduce ka pa ng glutathione. Kung ang, ang, ang napoproduce ng liver mo is 20%, ang nagagawa ng ating intelligence is dinadagdagan niya pa. Pag, uh, like, liver cells, magproduce ka pa, hindi lang 20%. Gawin, gawin mong 60%. Okay? So, yun yung uh, napopromote ng ating intelligence technology. Second, mitochondrial renewal through uh, through mitophagy, di ba? So, na-mention na ko tong mitophagy kanina. Kasi po, yung mitochondria natin, which is the powerhouse of cell, di ba? Ito yung nagpo-produce ng ating cellular energy, the ATP, your adenosine triphosphate. So, kung wala pong ATP, nako po, hindi po tayo mabubuhay, hindi po tayo makakagalaw. So, this mitochondria, 
pag every time po gumagawa siya ng ATP, nagkakaroon din po ng production ng high amounts of free radicals. Okay? Kasi yun yung byproduct niya. Just like when we manufacture our our products, mga nutritionals, di ba? Hindi lang naman yung sana products yung naproproduce when we manufacture. Meron din tayong mga waste materials. And in the body, it is in the form of free radicals. So while the natural antioxidants, like the glutathione and the superoxide dismutase, they neutralize all of these free radicals. No? But later on, kasing ang mitochondria, parati kasi siyang nagtatrabaho, okay? Produce pa, produce. So, nagdadamage din siya over time. So, what would happen, itong damage mitochondria within the cell, it can uh, work inefficiently. So, instead na mag-produce siya ng sobrang daming ATP, it would produce less ATP and more free radicals. Okay? Kaya kahit sabihin natin, ang dami kong mitochondria, pero what if damage yung mitochondria? No? Instead of producing more ATP, ang naproproduce niya pala ay free radicals, which are very um, harmful sa cells kasi it can cause oxidative stress. No? So to maintain cellular efficiency, ang ginagawa ng cell natin, nagkakaroon siya na tinatawag na mitophagy. So yung mitophagy, It degrades, removes, or recycles damaged mitochondria para hindi na siya magtuloy-tuloy na mag-produce ng free radicals. But however, no age or other lifestyle factors may slow this process. Kaya nga, di ba, dapat healthy lifestyle. Ayan, para ma-enhance natin yung mitophagy. And intelligence technology promotes mitochondrial renewal through mitophagy. Kaya, madideal na natin agad-agad yung mga free radicals sa katawan natin. Okay? Ayan. So, one of the products no, na talagang merong nasasabi natin na um, uh, contains this intelligence complex is our cell essentials. So, application na. No? Kasi alam na natin ano yung cell signaling, ano yung mga molecular messengers, ano yung effect ng pagkain sa katawan, dun sa gene expression, diba? and ano yung mga different So, uh, ways that our intelligence technology support in our body. So, application na. Tignan natin no, sa ating cell essentials because we know this is one of the most potent cell-empowering supplements on the market and the reason behind this spectacular scientific achievement lies within the intelligence complex. Diba? Because of this technology. And what do we know about intelligence complex? Sabi nga natin, it's a platform with a combination of this unique blend of ingredients na that can support cellular communication pathways para magkaroon ng support yung cellular resiliency and longevity. Okay? Ayan. So, ano yung meron? Sabi nga natin, merong ingredients eh, yung, yung, yung cell essentials that has this intelligence complex. So, tingnan natin yung eight. No? Eight powerful core ingredients in cell essentials na masasabi natin that can really support cellular communication pathway. So, first is resveratrol. Okay, resveratrol, no, this is a unique antioxidant na makikita sa mga uh, skin ng red grapes. And is of, uh, it is often referred to as the fountain of youth due to the fact that It is so effective in helping the proper functioning of our bodies. Why reaching benefits from taking resveratrol is it protects our cells no, from free radical damage. And it also helps no, maintain homeostasis in the body at para masuportahan yung vibrant health. So number one sa ating listahan is resveratrol. Second ingredient is quercetin. So quercetin, this is a natural flavonoid antioxidant na makikita mo sa mga plants of course no and what does it do it detoxifies our bodies and it really fights free radicals okay so meron siyang kakayanan to manage those oxidative stress and it also helps support vibrant health and efficient functioning third is our hesperidin so itong hesperidin natin this is a naturally occurring bioflavonoid na makikita sa mga citrus fruits and a very potent antioxidant that supports proper immune system functioning. And that's why it complements with the action ng vitamin C, di ba? Hesperidin, quercetin, familiar. Ingredients ng ating proprietary blend of vitamin C, our 
policy. Yan. So, espere din. Next, number four is our routine. So, yung routine natin, this is um, a bioflavonoid na makikita sa mga citrus fruit. Okay? And it has this uh, uh, ability to neutralize free radicals in the body. And yung routine, tiyotulungan ito na ma-utilize yung vitamin C no? at ma-maintain yung collagen and which is a uh, uh, main building blocks ng connective tissue natin. So we have now the routine. Number five is the alpha-lipoic acid. So this alpha-lipoic acid, sige nga, parang familiar, anong product ng USANA? Ng, yung merong alpha-lipoic acid aside sa ating cell essentials. Kasi ito, um, familiar ito yung most of our associates. Ayan, very good, no? It's coquinone. Ayan. So alpha-lipoic acid, this is a vitamin-like antioxidant na makikita mo sa mga karne. And you know what's uh, beautiful about this alpha-lipoic acid is that it is both fat and water-soluble. Okay? And Diba? It increases the levels of glutathione. Kaya, diba, mas protected yung cells mo, mas protected yung body mo from oxidative stress. Ayan. So, next is, number six, is green tea extract. So, yung green tea extract natin, syempre, saan po nang galing sa mga green tea leaves? No? And it contains antioxidant na tinatawag natin, epigallocatechin gallate, or your EG. CG. So these antioxidants they fight the free radicals and the uh, the oxidation ng mga cells natin. Kaya healthy ang ating immune system. And it is also used as an enhancer of longevity for thousands of years in traditional Chinese medicine. So di ba hindi na natin pwedeng i-argue yan yung green tea extract na yan because it has been used for thousands of years already. And it's also found in our cell essentials. Ayan. And last two is the Meriva Bioavailable Curcumin. So, this is a unique patented curcumin. Bakit siya unique? Okay, so let me explain this. It's because kung ititake nyo po ang curcumin extract like in a form of tea, okay, inumin mo siya. So, the bioavailability po kasi ng curcumin is very low. No, hindi siya maaabsorb agad ng cells natin, ng ating katawan. And so, what you saw na did is that yung mga molecules ng ating curcumin, binalutan ng liposome, okay, ng, ng fats. Kasi hindi nga siya bioavailable. So, in, so in-apply ng science, no, talagang may binalutan nila ng, fat cell, ng fats yung ating curcumin. Therefore, making it as very bioavailable or absorbable ng katawan. O, diba? So talagang application of technology sa ating Uh, ingredients and it supports joint health no saan ba natin kasi makikita to di ba sa ating product na prokosa okay and it helps in the uh, inflammatory responses ng katawan ayan and this meriva bioavailable curcumin is nearly 30 times more bioavailable than doon sa mga traditional curcumin extracts natin no like ng mga tea mga tsaa no and mas sustained yung release nito sa katawan sa ating bloodstream kaya making it optimal ang ang curcumin blood level over time okay and lastly is our olive oil mm. syempre hindi nawawala yung olive oil extract patented din po ito so pag sinabi nating patented hindi po pwedeng gamitin ng ibang companies until no the expiration of that patent sabi natin mga 30 years 40 years so doon pa nila pwedeng gamitin yon so since This is patented, no? No, any other company can use uh, these type of ingredients that we have, okay? So, olive oil, also patented. It contains antioxidant na polyphenols and derived exclusively from olives. No? So, yung mga polyphenolic antioxidants natin um, na makikita sa olives, hindi kasi siya present sa ibang other dietary sources. No? Kaya one of a kind talaga ang ating olive oil extract. Ayan. It's also, di ba, a type of antioxidant. And together, no, these eight powerful core ingredients, they communicate with the cells. And they have this uh, unlocking capability ng ating natural protective and renewal processes. No? And because of this ability, nagkakaroon ng influence dun sa physiological pathways no ng ating mga cells kaya mas na-build natin yung resiliency at mas na-empower yung katawan natin para ma-meet yung mga unique health needs natin okay so yan po ang ating 
eight ingredients, eight powerful core ingredients in cell essentials. And ano yung intelligence effect? Okay, so this is a type of um so uh, this kumbaga this is a superior system no kaya na nourish at na-renew yung mga cells natin for optimal uh, cellular function sabihin kasi natin the reality is no everyone at some stage has been guilty of um neglecting our health no until pandemic came doon nagkaroon ng ng uh, great realization ng lahat And plus, mataming pressure sa life, ha? kasi yung mga stress natin, yan din po nag-create ng napakadaming free radicals ng, ng katawan. So it is safe no, to say that many people really don't get enough essential nutrition no, sa pang-araw-araw na kinakain nila. But USANA's intelligence provides this potent amount ng mga micronutrients para mas manourish yung cells natin at ma-maintain yung health nila, okay? And intelligence also acts, no, para marinyo yung cells at masuportahan yung mitophagy. Sabi nga natin, di ba, pag mitophagy, nagkakaroon ng aberya yung mitochondria natin na instead na mag-produce ng, ng energy or ng ATP, ang pinoproduce ay free radicals. So, kailangan tanggalin. So, with that, no, with the intelligence technology, mas natutulungan na magkaroon ng clean-up process yung ating mga cells, especially the mitochondria. And this allows our cells na mag-function more smoothly and efficiently. At okay yung ating energy production. Ayan. So, di ba, as you can um, see here, that the intelligence complex is a groundbreaking combination no, ng mga different powerful nutrients. No, and that's why we can see that mas na-promote, no, mas na-enhance yung ability ng mga cells na mag-produce pa ng nat uh, ng uh, antioxidants. Okay? Kasi napaka-importante talaga kasi ng antioxidants. They are our first line of defense against free radicals. Kaya kung wala kang antioxidants sa katawan, prone po kayo sa oxidative stress. And later on, pag hindi po natin siya ma-arrest, it can lead to different diseases. Kaya mag nagkakasakit po ang tao. Okay? And yes, we can get antioxidants naman from food or supplements. Kaya nga, di ba, um, exogenous sila na antioxidants. Pero maganda din talaga kasi yung intelligence na makapag-add doon mismo sa cells natin na mag-produce ng natural antioxidants. Kaya mas natural din yung protection. Di ba? Hindi hindi synthetic yung protection na nakukuha natin kasi cells natin mismo yung gumagawa no ng mga different anti antioxidants and guess what endogenous antioxidants are potentially hundred hundreds of times more powerful po compared sa exogenous antioxidants okay kaya mas talagang mas maganda kung endogenous no versus exo doon po tayo sa endogenous. And for us to have those endogenous antioxidants, it has to be supported with our intelligence technology. Kaya, mas better yung mga cells natin na magkaroon ng ability to protect themselves. Alright? So, it's just like the idea of uh, teaching a man to fish rather than just giving him a fish. Alright? Kasi, di ba, yun yung ginagawa natin sa cells. Parang, okay, go cells! produce ka pa. Hindi yung parang okay, magbigay pa tayo ng antioxidants. Ayan. So, that's the idea there of the intelligence effect. And what are those products with intelligence technology? These are the cell essentials, proglucamion, the hepacil DTX, procosa, copa prime plus, and the selected cellulose skin care products. So, dito po natin makikita ang tatak ng intelligence technology. So, that's all about it.